Uh, some, you, you know, through it, and obviously today a kid got called for it out there. Yeah, well, anytime we can get it on tape, you know, an example on tape, we always use that example as a way to teach. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, it, it's it's a rule about safety, and that's as a as a coach, you have to use it as a teaching tool about safety. You know, and I don't. I try not to get into whether it's right or wrong, but it's a rule about safety, and that's the only way we can go about it is teach it as a rule about safety. You kind of guys, two seniors in safety. How much do you depend on them to provide leadership and to kind of lead the way for everybody on defense? Well, I think it's important to those guys that have played a lot of snaps here: uh, Christian Bryant, C.J. Barnett, uh, Corey Pitt Brown. Uh, you know, those guys have been around this program a long time and have a lot of lot invested in it. Uh, so I think it's really important that they show leadership, uh, not not just in the defense room, but throughout our football team. Help us with our young guys, uh, because they've, you know, obviously the Ohio State way they know it. So uh, it's important that uh, their leadership comes out and uh, is a, you know, we had great leadership last year, and you saw where where it got us. So I think I think guys are feeling that pressure to be good leaders this year. Defenses are led by the linebackers, but in this case, could the safeties possibly be the guy that set the tone for the whole defense? Um, I would say so right now, just because of the experience and the leadership that we have in the secondary coming back. We got three returning starters. So, I mean, we're just trying to do a great job of just leading the defense right now vocally and just leading by example. Can you tell that a lot of guys look up to you simply because you're the seniors and there's very few of them on defense? Um, kind of. Like I said, um, me, CJ, all, all of the older guys in the secondary are trying to do a good job of just leading, leading a lot of the young guys um, in the right direction and showing them the way because they, like, I, like Coach Dre always says, they have no idea what they're getting themselves into right now. So, like I said, we're just trying to lead, lead the defense. You said that you guys made it a goal to be the best defensive backfield in the country. How far away are you guys from being that already? I don't know, man. I mean. We, we want to be the best, but, I mean, that's for all y'all to decide. I mean, we already think we're the best, so, I mean, that's for y'all to decide. You know, we got to let our play, you know, do it. And, I mean, big thing is, like I said, we got to capitalize on all our opportunities. Like last year, me and him both had, you know, too many missed plays that we left on the field. And I think if we capitalize on that, you know what I'm saying, I think we'll be, I think we'll be fine. What are your impressions of everybody you know? at this camp this year? It's really spirited practice out there. Everybody knows what they're doing. But how is camp this year compared to last and, and – uh, I think it's a little different. Um, you know, last year, you know, Coach Myers' first summer camp, our first camp with him, not really knowing what to expect. Um, I think he was trying to break us, break us down more. I think this year, I mean, he knows what we can do. He knows the kind of guys that he has. Um, so I think it's more, you know, concentrated on just football instead of, you know, being out there and, you know, making us go at it and seeing who's all tough. I think for the most part, guys have proven that. Um, you still you continue to kind of prove it. It's going to continue to get harder, but I think it's a little more focused on football. CJ.